gentlemen, this is Chris 12 LFC bringing you another one of my Road to Mercedes series and uh, yeah I'm currently I've just uh, qualified for the Belgian Grand Prix for most of the lap I was up in P6 to P7 in the Man of Marussia which is a miracle let's just say that and somehow I managed to qualify ninth at the end I did lose a lot of time in the downforce section which is the middle sector because I've set up my car for high speeds again but that could that could be a little bit of a downfall for my car. But I am 2.1 seconds faster than Will Stevens. So the car on low fuel feels really good. Still 2.6 two seconds off Lewis Hamilton. This is quite a lot. But we're just going to get into this race. See, see where the race takes me really. It's really, really good result. Really happy with that for qualifying. P9. Position 9 on the grid. That is not bad at all. I uh, just need to come out and do something remarkable in the race to actually finish in that position or maybe even possibly higher. If I get a point in this series, the in the Marussia, I upgrade automatically to the next car, which is the McLaren. And then from there on, it's just going to be normal racing just to the end of the season. Because in the Marussia, if I get a point, Will Stevens is never getting a point. So that will upgrade me immediately to the next car, which is McLaren, I believe. victory should surely be a formality. He's definitely going to be difficult to beat today, but anything can happen. But so yeah, it's it's not a bad not a bad situation. If I can get a point here in Spa, it's one of my favourite circuits up there with Gilles Villeneuve. Gilles Villeneuve, sorry, I speak English. Gilles Villeneuve Canadian Grand Prix and uh, a couple of other circuits. I've yet to race around Russia and I've yet to race around um, the other new circuit to the year Mexico, but. That will come. That might be next season, depending on if I can grab myself a point here. <coughs> Race strategy, they want me to go option prime. I'm cool with that. At least if I've got an option tile at the start, I'll be able to accelerate and keep up with these people. It's not a bad start off the line by me there. Not a bad start at all. Still being caught there by Verstappen. Thrown it down the inside of a lot of the cars. Catch the side of the, uh, the Williams Mercedes. And I've been put in the barrier. I've been put in the barrier. If I've got damage to my front wing, I'm going to restart because that's bullshit. I'm restarting that race because I just got screwed over. You can piss right off if you think I'm just going to leave that. That's a joke. I'm restarting this race. The only time I'm using a restart because that's that's really ridiculous that is really ridiculous this time I revved off the line I get a much worse start than I did the first time I'm gonna still dive bomb it down the inside run out wide so Massa doesn't sideswipe me again I believe it was Massa that did it last time he's gonna have much more speed than me into this straight he's just throwing it down the inside in a possible overtaking place down it up into there I, I really forgot what that corner's called. It's not Raskaz, is it? I think I'm in the wrong circuit completely. I believe that that's a completely different circuit. Why have I forgotten one of the most famous circuit names on the calendar? The car just reacted ridiculously funny there to me. Are you taking the piss? Now I have another issue. The fucking retarded car. Oh, you can piss off. I'm restarting. You can piss off. Everything's going wrong. This is... I've not yet used a restart on this game. And that's two in one race. And I've not even made it around a fucking half a lap yet. This is ridiculous. First time was Massa's incompetence. You can tell I'm a bit frustrated now. I'm just going to throw it down the inside. They can piss off. Um, the problem with uh, the AR in this game is they're really too aggressive. And they've cost me points in this season so far. In Canada, they've wiped me into the wall. In China, they've wiped me into the wall. It's just actually ridiculous. <coughs> I will not be using any more restarts now. My own problem if anything goes wrong now. 
sorry about using the restarts in the first place, but I felt they were needed. I know that's going to probably piss a lot of people off. It's, if anything, has pissed me off. This is where I lost time in qualifying through this sector, because I haven't got the downforce to have grip through here. And then coming into Puon now. Um, that's actually a really good line through that corner. I'm not going to obviously battle for the podium positions. It's a surprise I'm up in P4. Really, I'm only in P4 because I dive-bombed everybody. Look at the corner in. I've got literally no downforce on this car at all. So it makes it horrendous through corners. Straight line speed's a lot better than it would be because I've got the top speed thing on, but it's still not fantastic. I still get caught. Look. Look at them catching me there. The, Willi uh, the Williams is just OP in a straight line. There's the Williams on the back of me because I lost so much time through that corner there. Points are potential here. Accelerate off that corner, try and get a little bit of a gap on Massa. There's front wing everywhere there, there must have been an incident up in front. I let Massa through there slightly because I didn't really fancy two through that corner. It wasn't a good idea. And the Williams' straight line speed is just ridiculous that he's allow it, he's able to pull away from me while I'm in DRS. A uh, DRS, sorry, slipstream. Oh, a bit of an incident into that corner. That's probably my fault, if anything. I've managed to get away unscathed. I've lost the two positions in front of me, but I've got away with no damage to my car anyway. I outbraked myself and caused a pileup. I believe the Williams of Massa in front has damage because it looks like I'm catching him for a section where I'm not fast. This car is horrendous! I hate this Mana Marisha car, it's actually so bad. Just trying to get it through corners is hard enough. Obviously having to have a straight line speed. Uh, thing on the car, which is making it a problem to drive. Hard enough to drive anyway. Slightly fucked it up through there, and Bottas is gone. Way before the actual slipstream would have come into advantage there, because I went wide. Verstappen is right behind me. I thought about making a lunge there on Bottas, and then thought twice towards the end of the actual decided lunch. The Stappen is trying to go around the outside of me. I'm not letting him go. Not easily anyway. Ah! Oh! Now I'm under attack from everybody. This is bad. This is bad. He's going to have DRS as well this lap. You know he's just going to dive bomb me and do something stupidly aggressive because it's AI. See what I mean? AI is so stupidly aggressive on this game. Do you know what? I'm upgrading myself after this race. I'm sick of the AI. I'm not driving this car anymore. I'm done with this car. I'm so done with this car. I'm, I'm upgrading after this race. This is the last race you're going to see in the Marussia. This car's pissing me off now. I'm so done with this car. I've already beaten Stevens in the objective over the half the season anyway. That's all I'm doing in this car. I'm done. I'm so done with this car. It's fucking terrible. Can't take any more. Cannot take any more of this shit car. The brakes don't work. The fucking steering is piss poor. What is the point? There's no acceleration. There's no straight line speed even if you put fucking top speed on it. It's fucking awful. This car is just so bad. I'm done. I'm so done with it. If I beat Paul Stevens this race, I'm classing it as an upgrade. I'm done. I'm not taking any more of this fucking terrible car. It can piss off. It can fucking piss off. I'm so done with it. So effing done. I might not even... I'm going to try and get to the end of this race, but...
I'm so pissed off at AI being so fucking aggressive, ramming me out of the way every two minutes. I try and make one overtake, my brakes don't work, I end up spinning someone and then I get the worst of it. I'm so fucking done. It's so bullshit. Oh, fuck off! You get on my nerves now, fucking Jeff. Just go fuck yourself. I was in P4 a minute ago, down to P13 because the car's fucking shit! I know the McLaren's not much better, but anything is better than this. Anything! I'd rather drive a fucking boat around a Formula 1 track than this. This is fucking terrible. This car is fucking shit. I don't usually get pissed off that much, but this I'm done with this car. I'm so fucking done. So fucking done. Look, 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 look at the brakes! They don't do anything! They're not there! And the steering now no longer is doing anything. Brilliant. The brakes are hopeless. It generally feels like I'm driving a snail around a Formula 1 track. It's pathetic. I'm so done with this. Ugh. I don't care what less than the fuel load. I'm fucking fed up with this car. Wait, so it's lap 4. They want me to pit lap 6, which is over halfway on the fucking option tyre. You stupid. Look at it! It doesn't fucking do anything! Fuck you, I'm coming at the end of this lap. This car's just terrible. I'm done with this fucking piece of shit. Look at... Oh, my Christ. This isn't even tyre wear. This is actually just how bad the car is. I can't turn it. So go from P9 on the grid. Run it up in position 4 in the race. And... Oh, shit. Forgot to tell Jeff I'm coming in this lap. Well, I'm coming in anyway, so like it or fucking not. You're ready for me or not ready for me, I'm fucking coming in, I'm done. I've just compromised my own race as well by actually slowing myself down there dramatically. I'm not taking any more of this shit. This is definitely the last race, I'm so fucking done. Frustration's now got the best of me with this car. I can't be asked anymore. It's so bad. And this is a strategy that makes sense, you fucking idiots. You pit earlier. Oh, how far is Danny Ricardo back after I took him out earlier? Must be quite far. Oh, this car is so annoying. Sorry about the rage there, ladies and gentlemen, but I just can't take any more. You know what, I'm not even bothering to accelerate that much anymore with this car. I'm just going to take it easy and see where I come. I'm afraid to break any legs what I'm doing at the minute. I'm braking really early. I'm braking so early into most corners, actually. I'm going to definitely come out well ahead of Will Stevens and a few other cars. Bottas is just... Computers are so retarded on this game! AI are stupid! Why would you turn in front of another car? What's wrong with you? That means Bottas is going to be coming back at me at the end of the race, because this car certainly doesn't have the fucking speed to stay in front of him. Even if he has this much of a slow in lap because of a front wing missing. He'll still find a way to overtake me. <coughs> I don't care. I actually don't care, Jeff. I just want to get out of this fucking car as quick as possible, and that's the end of this race because I have made my decision. All I've got to do is beat Will Stevens in this race, and I'm so done with this car. <coughs> A lot of cars are in the pits. I think Stevens is actually. Or a lot of cars have been in the pits, if not in the pits now. And where have I come out? I've come out P12 behind Sergio Perez. So that proves how much time I did lose. Quite a lot. He's on cold tyres, so I'm going to be able to probably DRS him down this straight. But he'll come back at me in about a lap. 
I'm making an overtaking of a Russia car! Woohoo! It does happen! This car does have some sort of speed. Not. <coughs> I know they're too cold because they fucking don't work! They're useless! They're just there for no reason! They don't do anything! <coughs> oh, look at the objective that the team set me. P6. Are you stupid? Are you fucking stupid? That was never gonna happen. <coughs> well, I might have done if I wasn't rammed on the circuit, maybe. I don't know. It wasn't gonna happen. Let's just look at it that way. The car doesn't have the speed. I am closing on Mal Maldonado, but that's only because he's got cold tyres. I don't see it being a challenge for P11 though. 12th might be the best I can do here. And then Perez is probably going to come back to me towards the end of the race. Or the next few laps. Probably the next few laps is more than likely. End of the race might be being optimistic. I don't care, Jeff. I actually don't care. Accelerate, please. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead of Alonso, so I'm into position 11. I'm in 11th place. I think. Alonso's there? He's not out of the pitch yet, so yeah, I'm in position 11. 11th place in this race so far. Started 9th. Got my way up to 4th. Had some a, a bit of a problem with AI being pricks on the game. That was fun. And now I ended up down in 11. I'm so dumb with bloody this slow car. It's just pathetic. Please accelerate! I'm kind of there with Maldonado. I swear anti-lock brakes are meant to be off. I think they're on. Which pisses me off a little bit more because with them with anti-lock brakes turned off so obviously they lock up I feel like the car brakes better and you expect it with the um, full brakes on like this to actually break in the fucking corners but it doesn't so that's that's making it even more fucking bemusing that the car's pathetic on brakes because I played an online race, so I must have saved it from the online settings, which is stupid, because this is in a season, so it shouldn't have really changed it. <coughs> and online, I don't run with anti-lock brakes turned off. I have them on, so they help me out. Because online players are much better than AI. Alright, that's not bad into there. Anyone else in the pit so I can make up any more positions? No, okay. Didn't expect so. Come on, please. Uh, I'm staying in front of Perez. I'm one position off the points. The 10th place would have confirmed the upgrade anyway to the next car. So that would be nice if somebody has a little incident in front of me and I can get up into P10. The last point. But I am I have made my decision, I am ending the Marussia stay in this car at the end of this race. I'm going into the McLaren. This car's just undrivable. Imagine if I had trash control turned off, how bad would it be then? That's That's eye opening, that would be awful. I am getting close to Maldonado. This is one of the reasons why I've put anti lock brakes off usually because I'm so much faster than AI on with it helping me and not locking up my tyres even in this crappy car <coughs> I'm getting close to Maldonado now getting very close to uh, past the Maldonado in front of me I don't think Making a move this lap is going to be a question, or even next lap. I think I'm going to have to go for a do or die move in a minute. Uh oh, tyres aren't looking great. A couple laps left as well. 
well, three laps basically. Once I cross the line, lap nine, lap ten, and lap eleven. Come on, car. You're better than that. I just use as much track as I feel like. <coughs> I don't gain no advantage out of that, so I don't know why it's warned. <laughs> Sometimes it gives you penalties for running, running wide. Bloody hell, I'll put my teeth in a minute. Running wide and uh, you're gaining no advantage. In fact, you lose time and you still get a three second penalty, which is stupid. <coughs> Maldonado is so much faster in a straight line. There he goes, off he goes in the distance. That's one of the problems of trying to get close to him in this race. I haven't got the straight line speed, even though I've got top speed on on my setup. I haven't got the speed to keep up with him here. I'm pushing as hard as the car will allow me, without obviously trying to throw me into a barrier. I don't care, Jeff! Do not care! I'm just trying to catch Maldonado. Shut the fuck up. Busy here, mate. Engineer doesn't have to get on your nerves sometimes. I know it's a nice little added feature for this year's game. But after a while, when you're concentrating on trying to catch a driver, they shouldn't be t chatting to you. They should leave you alone. Really frustrating. I'm so close to him now, I'm in 1.1 seconds of Maldonado. <coughs> this point could be a possibility, it could be the upgrade anyway. I really hope so, because otherwise it's going to be a sour end to the first season with the Borussia. Come here Maldonado, please! Come back! 1.4 seconds, that's how much he pulls away on the line. Just in that short little spurt of acceleration. So think how much he gains on me through this little bit. Up the freaking straight, up the big long straight and through this famous chicane uphill. Tried to shortcut the corner li a little bit like Hamilton was doing in the uh, Belgian Grand Prix. Don't know how we got away with that. But... I tried to shortcut that and I didn't get penalised. Come here, Maldonado! Oh, oh, oh dear. Right, it's going to be a sour end to the series. Do you see what I mean about the fucking AI? Apparently, that's allowed to be done, is it? I bet Perez ain't got a fucking penalty for that. You can piss off, Gabe. You can actually piss off. That is a fucking joke. Just minding my own business and Perez fucking swipes the side of my car. And fucks me up. I go slightly wide, admittedly. Oh, it's not even going to fucking show the replay. I go slightly wide, admittedly. You don't expect... Oh, for fuck's sake, stupid replay. You don't expect the fucking car behind you to sideswipe you and put you in a fucking barrier. That's just fucking stupid. One of the problems of driving a fucking slow car in Formula 1, just don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. Just don't fucking do it. You just get rammed out the way. AI just don't like a slow car in front of them and they fucking ram them. But then if it's a computer and they're trying to lap an AI that's really slow, they follow them. Codemasters have really fucked up with this game in certain places. They really have. No safety cars, another stupid re idea. They're just fucking stupid, Codemasters. They're fucked up just going to let him go. I'm not even trying to battle Ericsson now. I'm pissed off. As soon as I get out of this fucking Marussia, the better. Do you know what? Dive bomb! And the car doesn't break. Alright, shortcut. Don't care. Alright! See what I mean? You can just cut the fucking corner, overtake a car, you don't get a penalty. There's so much wrong with this game. It's so fucking stupid. They've patched the PS4 version. Patch the fucking Xbox version. They're idiots. <coughs> Codemasters are really fucked up with this game. Ah, oh, I'm not even going to try. He's going to ram me. The gap's not there to go for, but he'll go for it. That's just how they do it on this game. Just ain't fucking risking it. 
and I don't get DRS. What the fuck is wrong with this game? And Will Stevens is catching me. Oh lol. Do you know what? Here I come. Hello. Nice to meet you, Ericsson. I hope you enjoyed your little spin, you prick. Got my fucking way. You try and ram me, I'll fucking take you out, mate. Absolute travesty, this game at times. I enjoy playing it because it's a Formula 1 game and it's the only one they've done for Xbox One, but they really have fucked up on certain bases. They're just idiots. No safety cars are really stupid, dumb idea. Not happy with that. And the AI just are plain retarded. Earlier on, you seen. Bottas had a front wing issue. Yeah, admittedly, that's that's right. You move out of the way. He swerved onto the racing line and nearly took me out. And then Sergio Perez comes up behind me, tries to overtake me, and just sideswipes me to the barrier. And then Ericsson joins in. It's just, it's so fucking stupid. I don't understand why AI do it. I just, I don't get it. This is going to be my upgrade. I'm finishing in front of Stevens. That's good enough for me. And I'm going to be upgrading to the McLaren. Uh, McLaren. Well, I would say McLaren Mercedes. That would be wicked to say. But it's not. It's the freaking McLaren Honda. Which is an appalling car. And Will Stevens is apparently faster than me. That's always interesting to know. I'm fucking glad that's over. That was painful. That was an absolute annoying annoying thing to have to do actually the AI are just twats on this game they really are it's too stupid to overlap cars but then but then too aggressive on to trying to overtake cars it's, it's it bullshit it really is I finished 13th if I could have not been sideswiped oh Perez did get a penalty good today. fucking asshole sideswiped me the prick with race win. so I could have come 11th but due to it's time for a lie down due to Ericsson being an absolute twat as well he he got taken out so I don't really care and yeah that's going to be the end of this video. I'm glad my time at the Marussia cars ended. Look, I finished in front of Stevens on that, so that proves enough to me. That will do. That will fucking do. Look, if, if you wasn't here at the start of the stream, have a look at this. I I managed to get myself up into P4 from the start of the race. Bit of a naughty overtake on the Williams, but I was up in P4. And, um, yeah, if you've watched the whole video, you'll know what happened. I think Bottas or Massa got involved with me in a minute and uh, yeah they they take me out as well but then Perez just sideswipes me which is really really annoying but that's going to be the end of the video if you've enjoyed it leave a like and if you're new around here subscribe uh, then probably tomorrow or the next day after recording this the McLaren Honda season will be starting I'll probably be Fernando Alonso um, and yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I've been Chris12LFC and I'll see you later.